Uh, great team win. Great team win. Great bounce back um, from the tough one the other night. Uh, really loved how the guys responded to our challenge to kind of button down the ship a little bit. You know, when you've got so much youthful enthusiasm, um, sometimes it gets a little bit out of hand. Sometimes that stuff's good, but um, we had to get locked and loaded to bounce back for this one. And I, these guys gave great leadership. The coaching staff was awesome. Um, and uh, just uh, big time, big time win and a big time bounce, bounce back uh, situation for us. When after that Colorado game, you had joked something about that your guys had messed up because they had shown you what they were capable of. After you look at what this team did tonight, what is this team capable of? Well, I, I mean, it's early, man. It's early, and we'd have said that if we'd have lost this one. We've, we've got a way, long way to go defensively tonight. That was our focus. Uh, our defense has been horrid the last four or five games, and our teams don't, don't play that way. These guys took it personal when we changed, challenged them. Um, and responded. So we still have ways to go, but we've shown what we're capable of doing, but we just need to do it more consistently. And it starts, you know, 1 through 15. The, the young guys got to stay focused so that they can continue to push us and practice and give us boosts off the bench. Um, and then these guys got to continue, um, you know, to show their, their leadership every day in the locker room and then come game time. And it, it was a great thing to see the defensive effort outside of the first three, four minutes of the second half. They got some layups, but then the decision making by these guys uh, offensively, Kyler Kelly, you know, after he came out with his third foul, I thought his last 12 minutes were as big as he's played for us. On and on and on. Uh, Zach Reichel, boy, you know, that kid's as tough as we knew he was when we recruited him, and, and he's really starting to come into his own. Al Hollins was big. Um, Roman gave us some great minutes. Gianni in the first half. So big team win, and, and we told the guys, you know, we. We, we celebrate wins. We should celebrate wins. People that aren't in the arena every day don't understand how hard it is to win. Um, and so we, we've, we've celebrated our wins, but now I think we've learned our lesson on how we need to keep perspective and then move on to the next thing. So that, that'll, that'll be good for us moving forward. Ethan, what do you feel like uh, you guys got back tonight that maybe was missing or maybe wasn't as consistent as you, you'd like to this point? Um, I think we, we started off the, off the game uh, with a lot of energy, and that led to a lot of energy on defense, a lot of deflections, steals, and and that carries over to the offensive end. And I think, uh, yeah, there were five of us in double figures tonight, and that's that's big for us. And I think it started with the energy just on the defensive end. Wayne, was that about the best passing you've seen Ethan do? He was picking some guys underneath for dunks and layups, finished with some Well, yeah, assists. for sure. I mean, I know he's had some games where he's had a lot of assists, but, I mean, these two guys have 15 assists combined and three turnovers that, against a team like that. That's pretty impressive. But I thought Ethan's decision-making overall, when, when he, hit, he hit a couple of big shots for us during that run in the second half and had some sweet dishes, our, our offensive execution out of timeouts was really, really good. The guys were dialed in, and then even on the run. And I think, I think we, we caused some frustration with our execution on some slips, on some isolation pick and pops. And, and it's one thing to execute the play, but you got to finish it. And these guys finished those plays, so credit to them. Trace, uh, the, your wins over Colorado and, and tonight, both against ranked teams, per terrific performances. Then you look at Arizona State, I think you'd agree that you guys are playing less to your potential. What do you think's happening there? Why are you guys showing a little inconsistency? Uh, I think Coach nailed it when he was just talking about maybe celebrating wins too much and then, you know, getting a big win. We might not, you know, take our opponent as serious, you know, because uh, we show when we're down, we can fight. Um, but, you know, we got to, we got to. Live in the moment, enjoy it, and then move on, and you know, on to the next one. We were worried coming off of that Arizona State game. We warned our guys; they're a lot better than what they've shown, and we got off to a good. I, I, I probably made a mistake in saying we weren't ready to play because we got off to a good start against Arizona State, and then we have to give them credit. They weren't shooting the ball well; they shot it well that night. They played Oregon tough last night, so we're not gonna we're not gonna disrespect any of our opponents. It's gonna be tough every night out, um, and you know. First, that was our first league home game. Were there some nerves and jitters? I bet maybe that were some of the reasons why we didn't execute like we did tonight. But that's behind us. We're, we're, we're excited about tonight's response, and we're moving forward. Trace, it is tough on, to go on the road again, but the momentum from this second half, one of the best second halves your team has probably played all year. How much does that help you moving forward? 
Uh, just showing what we're capable of doing when we're locked in. I think today was probably one of the best. We stuck to the game plan uh, and you know all that we were talking about, getting ready and preparing for the game. Uh, so just consistency, uh, one through fifteen, uh, and staying locked in. And you know us starters and you know vets have to uh, set an example uh, for each other out there. You know how we're going to play, and then you know guys that come in for uh, substitutions are going to give us a spur as well, just because they see how hard we're playing. So just more consistent efforts. Uh, and you know, no uh, playing to our potential. Coach, well, how'd you feel about Peyton and when he was on the floor with Kyler? Yeah, I mean, he he did a nice job. He, we were we were getting manhandled a little bit on the glass, and he went and got a couple of man rebounds for us. Um, he's a tough matchup because you know he can slip to the rim a little bit, and he's a pick and pop guy. But he's again reminds us a lot of Olaf when he's out on the perimeter. He's skilled. He can pass. He can shoot. Um, we just we need him to keep working. Um, and, and we, we said all of November, all of December, we will be a better team when we can play Peyton Dastro more. And, and it's on him to, to, to continue to get there, and I'm, I'm proud of his effort tonight. Thanks, guys. Go Beavs.